Hi everyone, welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Today's devotion is entitled Back Roads. And the verse for today is Exodus 13, 17. When Pharaoh finally let the people go, God did not lead them along the main road that runs through Philistine territory, even though that was the shortest route to the promised land. In this world, there are interstate people and there are back roads people. I still remember the first time we took the Natchez Trace Parkway for our annual trip to Granny's house. I was miserable. Truth be told, I've always been more of an interstate kind of girl. When I was young, my dad would plan road trips carefully. Every gas, every gas stop and bathroom break was mapped out in advance. Vacation began when you arrived at your destination. The drives there and back were just necessary evils. So to me, Natchez Trace was slow. It was long stretches of nothing but us. The open road and occasionally another traveler whom I could only assume was as wretchedly unhappy as I was. The last couple of years, however, the parkway has grown on me. I've, become, I've come to the realization that life wasn't meant to be lived quickly. It's easy to get caught up in getting from point A to B. Maybe point B for you is nap time or payday. You're not interested in the potential lessons or beauty in the moment. You just want to get to where you're going and be done with it. I get it. However, there are some things we can only see and some blessings we can only receive on the slow road. If we'll take a deep breath and choose to be in the moment, we'll find ourselves seeing and experiencing things that we never would have noticed from the inner state. Your ways are higher than my ways, Lord. Sometimes I don't understand the roads that you make me travel. Teach me to trust you as you guide me down the appropriate paths. Amen. Well, I disagree. <laughs> It says you're either an interstate or back roads person. Uh, I like both. I really enjoy the back roads, but when I'm trying to get somewhere, like driving from the Midwest to the East Coast every year, I like the interstates. <laughs> but once you're in a place, then yes, I do like to take the back roads. Like from here to go to uh, the commissary grocery shopping, I love to take the back roads. So, but the point is, if we slow ourselves down enough to take time to notice what's around us and be available in the moment, God can use us to be a blessing. And, you know, so often we're trying to rush through life just to get the next, next task done, grocery shopping, getting gas, or doing whatever. There might be something in the moment for us to receive a blessing and to give out one so I'm trying to teach myself as well to slow myself down and just to live in the moment and not be in such a rush all the time even though I'm in a rush right now because my <laughs> son is here and I want to get things done but anyway so it's like 34 degrees today and um, like I said my son is visiting for like a week or a week and a half so I probably won't be watching too much of YouTube and I'm um, going to spend that time to enjoy being with him for a while. So I hope you're doing well. As you can see, most of the snow is melted. Maybe we'll get some more. <laughs> but it's chilly. So I'm going to end this now and wish you all a very nice day and rest of the week. So take care of yourselves. God bless. Love you. Bye.